Okay, I want to show you a issue that happens when you have a very small number on the calculator and how to fix that and also how to deal with numbers written in scientific notation. So first of all, let's do this problem here, 1 divided by 5,000. So if I go to the run menu of the calculator and then I type in this problem here, you can either hit 1 in the fraction key and I think actually I'm in the uh, regular uh, setup, not the math setup where it shows as a fraction key, but it doesn't matter how you have it set up and it doesn't matter if you use division or not. If I do 1 divided by 5,000 here, whether you use the fraction key or the division key and I hit execute, well I maybe get a fraction here if I use the fraction key, but if you want to know what decimal that's equal to and I hit the F to D button, I get this. Well what the heck does this mean? 2 capital E negative 4. So this is understanding what your calculator tells you, and if you ever use Excel, it gives the answers the same way sometimes. So 2e negative 4 means 2 times 10 to the negative 4th. This e right here means times 10 raised to the whatever comes next, and the next number that shows up is negative 04, in other words, negative 4. Now, 2 times 10 to the negative 4th is scientific notation. To switch this from scientific notation to a regular number like this, the negative exponent right here tells you to move your decimal point, which currently is right here, four places to the left. Well, if you move this decimal point four places to the left, one place is just to get it on the other side of the two. Then we have to move it three more places to get up to four places to the left. So we got one place right there, and then one, two, three more to get it up to four places. So that's going to be 0 0.1230s, so 0 0.000 and a 2. And that's the four places that we moved it over. So in other words, 1 over 5,000 is the same as 0 0.0002. And I can prove that to you because if you know how to read decimals, you can get this. So for example, this right here is the tenths, this is the hundredths, this is the thousands, and this is the ten thousands. So really this decimal is the same as this fraction. It's the same as two ten thousands. So I'll uh, type that in here. So that's the same as two, oop, same as two ten thousands. Well, both of those are even numbers. And so 2 will go into each of them. 2 goes into 2 one time, and 2 goes into 10,000 5,000 times. So in other words, 2 ten thousandths is exactly the same as 1 five thousandth. But that's how you read these numbers that are on the calculator. For example, if you see a calculator and it says uh, something like this, let's say 3.21 uh, times, now it's going to say the uh, it's going to actually show with an E. Let's say it says 3.21 E and then a uh, 0, 08. What the heck does that mean? Uh, well, this means, again, scientific notation. So it actually means, I'll copy this one so we have a format here to see what it means. So it actually means 3.21 and the E means times 10 raised to the power of 8. So this right here is an 8. So what number would that be? Well, just like the negative 4 means move your decimal point 4 places to the left, the positive 8 means to move your decimal point 8 places to the right. So two places are taken up by moving the decimal point on the other side of the 2 and the 1. So that's two places. So that's 3, 2, 1. And then that's two of the 8 places. And 8 minus 2 is 6, so I need 6 more zeros. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So what number is that? Well, let's put in a comma separator here and a comma separator here. So you can see that number is actually 321 million. See, when you look at this number, you don't look at great detail. You see the 3.21, you say, well, that's a number between 3 and 4. But it's not. This big 8 right here moves the decimal point eight places to the right. Like when you look at this number, you might say, oh, that number's two. No, it's not. It's two times 10 to the negative fourth, which is a very, very small number. Okay, this is a very, very big number. Okay, so let's do this one for practice. Let's write this number in standard form. So 6.3 times to the ninth, 
which would also be written on the calculator as 6.3E09, like that. Well, that means move your decimal point nine places to the right. So you would have 6, 3. See, that's one decimal point right there. So we got eight more zeros to go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So what number is that? Let's put in a few commas here so we can separate it out. So that's actually 6 billion, 300 million. And let's see if I have another one. Here's 6.3 times 10 to the negative ninth. So, and again, you could see that on a calculator as being 6, E, and then a negative 09. That negative means move your decimal point nine places to the left. So it'd be zero point, uh, so, sorry, you would see that as 6.3. There it is, 6.3 E negative nine. So one point over to move it on the other side of the six. And then I'd have eight more places to move it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the six, three. See, nine places to the left. One to get it on the other side of the six, then eight more. It's a very, very, very small number. Now, a thing that you can do on a calculator to take care of not seeing this E negative four thing or any type of uh, scientific notation number is you can change your setup on your calculator. Now, every time you start your calculator, you'd have to change the setup. Now, you won't have to do that if you would buy the uh, Casio 115 or buy a calculator like this, but to... Uh, because then when you turn it off, it saves the uh, your settings. But with this one, since you're downloading it each time, you have to uh, do this each time. So if you want to deal with seeing math in the proper format, we did that in an earlier version. You can change the input mode from linear to math. That gives you fractions in a nice form, like one over the other, like one half shows up as one half. But another thing you can do in the setup area, let's go back to it, shift menu to get into the setup. You can either arrow down a ways or arrow up to get into the display. So actually arrow, arrowing up one level gets you to the display area. And if right now you can see the calculator comes in normal one, which means after a few decimal points, it starts writing numbers in scientific notation. Uh, if the number is bigger than basically a billion or if the number is smaller, then 0 0.0001. So uh, if I click the norm button again, you'll see it change from norm one to norm two. And norm two gives you more digits before it switches to scientific notation. So let me exit out of that or just hit execute either way you want. Now if I do one divided by 5,000 and hit execute, you see I don't get the scientific notation stuff. I get it written in a regular decimal form. So that's nice. And plus, I can type it in as a fraction too. If I have it in this math uh, input area, then I have to hit the fraction key first. So if I do 1 over 5,000 and hit execute, I get this right here, the fraction. But if I hit the F to D button, I get the decimal showing up rather than the 2E negative 4 showing up. Same way with really big numbers. If I have uh, something like 2 times 10 raised to the ninth, that's scientific notation. If I hit execute, I see that huge number there. It only goes up to the ninth power, though, no matter what. If you do 2 times 10 to the, uh, let's say, 12th, hit execute, it won't display that. So you'd have to know what this means at this point. It's just too many zeros for it to display. Let's go ahead and do uh, this one scientific notation problem down here. So here's two numbers in scientific notation that we need to divide. So what we can do is you can either, uh, the, I think the nicest way to do this is to do it with a fraction key. So if I hit the fraction key, then I don't have to worry about putting parentheses around the top and the bottom. If you use the division key, you'll have to put parentheses around the top and the bottom. It's still okay to put parentheses around the top and bottom, even when you're in the fraction area. So I'll type in the top number. I'll even put in parentheses to be real safe. So 6.3 times 10 to the, right here's the exponent, to the uh, negative ninth. 
And this is real good type of problem that you see in chemistry and biology classes because you, you're dealing with uh, scientific notation. I notice that this parentheses is up here rather than around the whole thing. So I'm going to delete that and I'm going to use the arrow key to get out of that exponent area and put the parentheses. Then I'm going to use the arrow key to go down to the bottom. So I'm down to the bottom. And I, even though I don't need the parentheses around the fraction, I will do that. I'll do parentheses and I'll do 2.8 times 10 raised to the negative third. And then before I type in that parentheses, I'll just arrow here. Let's arrow to the right. And that takes me to the main area of the denominator. Put in that parentheses. Now I hit execute and I get this answer right here. Now I have my calculator to show a lot of decimals. So that's the answer right there in standard form, 0 0.00000225. But if you want it in scientific notation, we can go shift setup and change that uh, I'll arrow up so I can get to the normal setting. So let me click norm again and that takes me to norm one. Hit execute, hit execute again, and there's that same number in scientific notation, 2.25 times 10 to the negative six. There's other things you can do in that area. Like for example, if I arrow back up here, I can make it scientific. And how many digits do you wanna see? Do you wanna just see maybe one? Let's try that. So if I do that and I get out of this area, if I do, uh, let's do uh, 3 divided by 500 and see how that shows. And you see it shows in scientific notation even quicker. Let's do 1 divided by 3. Is that going to show up in scientific notation? See, it does. This way it shows up in scientific notation basically no matter what when I have the setup to be scientific with one digit. So it's like always scientific. Um, you can change that and show clear up to nine digits before it goes to scientific. So with this one, now that I have nine digits, if I do one divided by 5,000, it's going to show all nine digits. Uh, I see how many digits it shows on the number. So um, that doesn't really help anything. So I think the main area that's good is either norm one, which is the standard setting, or if you don't want to see much of that scientific notation stuff, hit it again, and norm two will go clear out nine digits before it shows it in scientific notation. So I'll stop right there. That's how you get into these settings, and you can hopefully understand what it means when your calculator shows something with a capital E on it. So I'll stop there.